Hello everyone, the topic we cover today is Types of Personality. So before moving into the Types of Personality, we will just see regarding the uh, uh, meaning of Personality. So if you see or if you hear the term personality, generally a normal people or layman will be thinking that it is something related to the physical appearance of a person or the physique of the person. But the personality is more than that uh, what we can say the physical appearance or physique of the person. Now we will see how it will be. So come to the personality. The particular word personality is derived from a Latin word persona which means to mask. That means in the ancient Roman uh, people they were using certain masks during uh, drama or when they are uh, doing certain character in the drama. From that uh, the term personality has been derived. And if you see the definition, we can say that uh, the personality is a sum total of all the qualities or the characters of a person we can say. And we see now what are the elements or what are the factors contributing to this particular personality. So of course the first one will be the physique or the physical appearance of the person. Then next one the more important part the intelligence of the person. Then it comes to how much the person is emotionally stable. Then comes the sociability. Sociability in the sense uh, we can say that how the person is maintaining the social relationship. Then important fact, another factor, the characters and the moral trait of the person. So these are the important elements that contribute the personality of the person. Now we will move to the types of personality. There are different types of classification. We will go through certain major ones. First one, the personality types which is given by Hippocrates and he had to classify the person or the personality based on the temperament of the person. It may be the choleric type, melancholic type, phlegmatic type and sanguinic type. So we will see one by one. Come to the first one, the choleric type. So here the person is emotionally weak and bodily he will be very much strong. And he will be having certain characters like he will be very much active but he is emotionally weak. That's why the person will be irritable or he will become very sensitive. Come to the second type, the melancholic type. The person is emotionally and bodily. Both sides he will be weak and always he will be having a pessimism. Pessimism in the sense, any activity he will be seeing only the negative side. And he, he may not be having that much energy and no happiness. Come to the phlegmatic type. The person is emotionally strong but bodily he will be very much weak. He will be very happy but he will be very lazy person. Come to the fourth one, the sanguinic type. The person may be emotionally as well as the bodily, he will be strong. Both sides he will be strong. He will be very much energetic, he will be very cheerful and he will be having always an optimism. He will see only the positive side of any activities. Come to the next classification which is given by Krishma. So Krishna he had classified the personality based on the physical characters. He had divided the personality into picnic type, athletic type and leptosomatic. Come to the picnic type. The person will be having a fat body and he will be, having, he will be maintaining social relationship very good. He will be always jolly and he will be having a good natured behavior we can see. Come to the second type, athletic type. The person will be having a balanced body, well musculature he is having, he will be always energetic, he is having an optimism and he will be very much adjustable with any person. Come to the third type, the leptosomatic type. They will be very much thin and they will be very much thin and they are maintaining a no proper social relationship. They may be, we can say that they will be unsocial and they will be having a reserved type of characteristics and they will be very much sensitive even a simple matter immediately they may be getting irritable. Okay. So these are the classification given by Krishna. And come to the third one based on the social relationship or based on the sociability called Jin. He had classified the personality into introvert, extrovert and ambivert. Come to the first one introvert. So this introvert people we can say they will be self-centered they may be having a thin type of uh, physique and they will be having a reserved type of characteristics and limited social activities we can see. Come to the extrovert. So these extrovert people usually they will be having a fat body type. They will be very much social, maintaining social relationship. They will be very much talkative. They react positively towards the situation and they will be always happy and like outdoor activities very much. And there is an ambivalent. 
ambivert we can say these people will be having the characteristics of extrovert and introvert both characteristics these people will be have a mixed type of uh, extrovert and introvert we can say as an ambivert and there is one more classification which is given by friedman and rosman so they have classified the personality into type a personality and a type b personality if you come to the type a and type b the type a people they will be emotionally unstable they will be very much tense or worried they may be very much active but they will be very much restless and always this type of person they may be expecting an idealism they need all the work should be in a perfection a perfectionist we can say for this type a personality but when come to the type 2 personality these people are uh, they are not uh, emotionally stable but they will be uh, maintaining a happiness jolliness and they will be little bit flexible compared with the type a personality so these are the different types of personality or we can say the classification of personality so today we have seen regarding what is a personality meaning of personality and what are the different types of personality that's all for our today's class this is vishan kind of signing off till we meet the next class thanks